Welcome to Digital Asset News, taking top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we're not just going to talk about uh, cryptocurrency digital assets, but we're going to actually take a look at the news news, uh, what is going on in the world. And uh, if you live in America or if you live really anywhere, uh, this has probably been uh, one of the uh, hottest subjects that is out there and is one of those things that uh, is really causing a lot of controversy, which is Donald Trump has been permanently banned from Twitter. Now, uh, if you have stumbled across this channel and you're into politics, just know that this is not a political channel. We try to stay away from that. I think there's two things that you can do to alienate people pretty quickly. Uh, that is one is to talk about religion and the other one is to talk about politics. So we try to keep away from those two subjects. But this one really plays into uh, the cryptocurrency and digital asset aspect about what you can do uh, for you know censorship if you want to even go that route and uh, how things are actually progressing as far as social media platforms from centralized to decentralized and I'll explain that in a bit so again uh, I don't have an opinion on this one way or the other because I do not have a dog in the fight here I'm not going to get in the middle of this because that is just a, a recipe for disaster <laughs> on this channel but it is something to note and that is that if you are here and you are concerned about censorship and let's just say that you know you are not Donald Trump okay let's say you are the Dalai Lama and for some reason you have a website or an app and for some reason Google or the powers that be say you know what we don't like your message uh, for whatever reason and uh, they just ban the Dalai Lama for whatever reason or maybe you have have a business and you sell something wacky and they're like, you know, we don't like that and we're just going to take it away from you. And that can be uh, justified through a whole spectrum of things. Now, uh, there's different laws and regulations, but uh, and who knows what will happen in, in the future uh, as far as uh, these different propositions that are going to be brought up in uh, the U.S. Congress. But for right now, uh, this, is, this, is, this is what we have. We have centralized aspects and that's what pretty much runs everything. So if you're outside of the decentralized or cryptocurrency digital asset world, this may sound a little bit uh, unfamiliar uh, for you. But for those of you who follow the channel, this is not nothing new, but it is something to bring to light and just to talk about real quick. And if you wanted to actually build an app or build a website to bring the people that you have as followers or members or whatever else, there was a good tweet by Nick Carter. I don't know Nick Carter, I don't know his, his, his affiliation, but he's got a good point here. He says, you want to build an app? Well, it's simple. First, create your own payment processor, DNS, hosting provider, DDoS, protection, bank, internet infrastructure, app store, mobile hardware, and government, <laughs> and then build the app. Because anywhere along the way, uh, those will trip you up and uh, they can just say, you know what, we don't like this, uh, this, this aspect. We're going we're gonna to break you down and we're not going to allow you to have access. And that is just the truth. So um, if you are like me, maybe you don't really like that, that whole aspect. And maybe you think to yourself, maybe there's a better way. Well, uh, there is. And it's called decentralization or distributed ledger technologies, DLT. So in a centralized aspect, let me blow this up so you can see. In a centralized aspect, uh, when you have like uh, your, your DNS or your servers, they are in a centralized location. So let's say you have like a GoDaddy or Amazon Web Service or, or Google. It is in a centralized location. And those centralized players, they can pretty much control everything that happens in there. And that is a problem. So with distributed ledger technology or decentralized, whichever way you want to look at it, it's, you don't have just one point of failure. You have multiple nodes all throughout uh, the state, uh, the country, and the globe. For example, Bitcoin runs on distributed ledger technology, and they have over 10,000 nodes. So good luck trying to shut down every single node uh, that is out there. It is impossible unless you actually just say, you know what, we're going to pull the plug on the internet, which uh, I don't think that's even possible anymore. Anyhow. So uh, that is one of those things. So what do you do? when you have this issue come up, you're like, you know what, I would really like to have a website or I'd really like to start a social media platform or I'd really like to do something online, but I'm afraid of this censorship. Well, uh, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to show you real quick. There is a website called Unstoppable Domains. And I have a couple of domains on there and a lot of uh, subscribers also do. And what it does is it allows you to purchase uh, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, or 
uh, the decentralized aspect of a domain. So like for me, I have Dan uh, teaches crypto, Dan teaches dot crypto. And that is my domain. There's a, you can use a dot crypto or a dot zil. So instead of like a dot com, a dot org, a dot gov, <laughs> uh, you can use dot crypto or dot zil. And what's great about this is that the domain is stored in your wallet, just like it says right here, uh, just like a cryptocurrency. So if you wanted to purchase that domain, uh, what is great about that is that you carry that around in your wallet and it's not it's not sitting on some DNS server. It's not sitting at GoDaddy. It's not sitting at Google. It's sitting in your own decentralized wallet in your own personal possession. So how does that work? It's kind of difficult to really think about, but uh, we'll go that in a second, but you can point your domain to content on a decentralized storage network. Great. Blockchain domains plus these decentralized storage equals a website only you can put up and take down. Now also on top of that, if you're into this type of thing, like, like probably a lot of people here uh, who subscribe to this channel, you can replace cryptocurrency addresses with a human readable name. So instead of, in cryptocurrency, we have these long, super long uh, addresses. It's like 0x, F2, 5, 3, 4, you know, I mean, it's like uh, 40 some uh, characters long, sometimes 50, 60. So imagine saying that, hey, send me some uh, Bitcoin and send it to 0x, 5, 2, 7, 3, 5, 7, 7, blah, 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 blah. They're like, I don't know what you're talking about. But if you can say, hey, just send me some Bitcoin to danteaches.crypto. Oh, okay, I can do that, it's pretty simple. So there's that aspect. So here's some questions on the website, which I think will help clear these types of things up. Uh, first of all, does Unstoppable Domain provide you with a wallet? Because that's where you're gonna keep your actual domain, right? Yes, but only for holding your blockchain domains. In order to send, your, send and receive cryptocurrency user domain, you will use wallets that have integrated our software. You're able to use your own self-custody wallet to hold domains. So pretty simple there, right? Uh, how will I be able to view a blockchain website? Because you have to remember, if it's on, like I said, like any kind of uh, regular server like Google, I mean, they can be seen pretty easily. And this is where the technology is there, but it's not really there yet. However, things are moving at a rapid pace. Uh, again, if you're new to this, this space, I mean, when's the last time you heard about uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin? You're like, well, I didn't really know about that stuff, but now all of a sudden it's, it's everywhere. And that's just how technology does. Uh, it uh, kind of lurks in the background until, you know, it just get, gets into the masses. And before you know it, it's, it's everywhere. And it's a part of your life. And I think this is one of those things that's going to be a part of everybody's life. Decentralized apps, decentralized uh, exchanges, decentralized websites, and uh, everything else in between. So how will I be able to view a blockchain website now? You need to use a mirroring service, a browser extension, or a browser that supports blockchain domains. And then if you scroll up, there's a link and... There is their Unstoppable Domains, which you can get a uh, app, which is downloadable, which you can use for Chrome and Firefox, and then you can view decentralized websites. So, so there is that, and it's a very simple thing. So if you ever want to like start things up and like, well, I want this, or, and this is how I see it. Right now, there's a lot of problems with um, centralization, and a lot of people are getting sick of it, uh, whichever side you're on, I don't really care. So if you think about it like this, well, where are things going? Well, I think things are going, there's so many dot-com websites and uh, they're expensive if you wanted to purchase. But guess what? In the early 90s, uh, you could pick them up for practically nothing, hold them on for years, and then all of a sudden people are like, hey, I want that website. So for me, like I think to myself, well, who wouldn't want a website, um, like me, I was in the, in the medical industry, who wouldn't want a website called like uh, uh, stemcelltherapy.crypto or platelet-richplasma.crypto or orthopedic surgeon uh, the, or best orthopedic surgeon dot crypto or whatever else. I, I think it would be a big boom, especially later on. And uh, that's just one of those things that I see that could potentially happen. So even if you wanted to build something right now, uh, you have that ability right now with these different extensions. So uh, last couple of questions was, will I be able to search for and find blockchain domain websites on Google or other search engines? Well, Major search engines do not currently index blockchain domain websites. For now, you'll be able to search for them at Unstoppable Domains on partner applications that integrate our search bar or on blockchain apps that index blockchain domain websites. So again, to get into this space right now, um, I think this is like the golden era time to really get in. I personally got in in 2017. A lot of people on this website or on this uh, channel know I got in around 2017 and then um, I've just been what's called dollar cost averaging for years. I think 2021 is going to be a very big year for mass adoption. So again, 
I think this would be the time to, to really get into things such as this, not just, you know, like a, a first generation blockchain like Bitcoin or a second generation blockchain like Ethereum. But maybe you're looking at something a little bit more uh, robust than that uh, leading off into the future. And then let's see what else. Oh, our blockchain remains part of ICANN, traditional DNS. And ICANN is where you can find uh, different information about uh, your websites that are out there. And then they say, no, blockchain domains are what's called alternate routes. They are not part of the current uh, DNS. And then actually, sorry, will there be some sort of who is record? Who is is where you can actually look up, uh, like, uh, you know, if I had a website, danteachescrypto.com, you could look it up and say, well, who owns that? Uh, well, it's Rob from Digital Asset News. But here for uh, decentralized apps, decentralized websites, not by default. Sharing who is information is an opt-in, something that you can choose to do if you want. Otherwise, your identity will probably know. And then trademarks, something like that. So that is really it in a nutshell. Uh, this is Unstoppable Domains. There is a uh, link in the description. Uh, you can use that. It goes right to the uh, exact website so you don't get scammed or go to some other place. Uh, but you're welcome to use that or just go to Unstoppable Domains and uh, that's it. But uh, that will be in the description below. And uh, that is all I want to talk about today. So again, not a political channel, but uh, I just want to talk about where technology is going and how to get ahead of the curve uh, to help you out. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. Not sure, I'll let YouTube do their magic. And uh, that is all. So uh, again, thanks, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.